forgot mascara today. Don't ask. I have no idea, and I don't know who I am anymore. But I do know that you and I are going to the mall. That's right. We are going together over to the mall to get our Jessica Simpson jeans on. You heard me. It's not 1990. It's 2022, and Jessica Simpson apparently has a whole new line of jeans. I say new. I think that they're new. I got targeted on an Instagram ad for them, and I went down the hole, the rabbit hole of online shopping, and there were so many options, and they all looked so cute, but I felt overwhelmed, and I wanted to order a bunch of them to try on on video, but then I was like, I mean, I don't even know what size of hers I'm, I am, and like, I can't order everything, and then I decided to use my good old friend Google and see if I can try these jeans on anywhere in person, and sure enough, Enough, Macy's seems to carry a few of them. So I figured I'd take you along. Haven't been to the mall in a moment. And this valley girl, ooh, she loves a mall. So I'm gonna go meet my mom over there because my mom is the queen of Macy's. She knows her way around Macy's better than the employees do. That's not a joke. I feel like my mom should own a piece of Macy's. She's a committed and loyal customer and she's gonna take me on a tour because I called her and I was like, hey, have you seen Jessica Simpson stuff in Macy's before? And she was like, oh yeah. And then she went on a whole tyrant about her shoes, her dresses, and now she's excited to learn about the jeans. So yeah, let's go over there together and uh, take you into the try-on room. Try-on room, dressing room. I'm gonna try on some Jessica Simpsons in the dressing room with you. Let's do it. I think I should mention that I do wanna just try on like all of her jeans um, and whatever we can get our little paws on would be great. But specifically I'm looking for, there's like a high rise sort of like wide legged white jean. <sighs> you heard me, white jean, I know. It is a difficult task, but it just looks so cute and I feel like I can wear it with like everything. So let's do this. Oh, I told uh, the internet that you're the Macy's master. Like, you know your way around Macy's, but so lead me to Jessica Simpson. Let's go. All right, so many options. I'm pretty excited. They didn't have any of the white ones, but they did have uh, four different styles, plus these shorts, so. I'm gonna do my best not to be awkward while doing this. I don't love chatting and doing the whole thing, but bear with me, let's get these on. Hello, future Lisa here. Just wanted to let you know that I'm gonna jump in and start interjecting and react and talk you through each pair of pants that I tried on because the lady next door to me um, in the dressing room next door was like full on watching TV or something on her phone while trying on clothes. So there was no way, even if I had the strength and the will uh, to talk out loud in the dressing room, um, which I usually get so embarrassed by doing, uh, I couldn't do it because she was watching something super loud. So um, I am now going to watch with you guys and give you guys my opinion. So let's do this. Oh, and just so you know, I'm gonna leave all the links to everything that you're going to see below. And I tried on everything in a 24. That's my normal denim size. I'm also 5'1", just so you can keep that in mind if you're trying to compare um, and figure out what size uh, you should be ordering if you're interested. All right, let's do this. These are the Flirt Straight Boot in the Lived In Vintage. Um, and all the denim here, I think was priced around the same, yeah, 79.50. I was horrified by the button fly. I love a button fly, but the bottom button of the fly was so deep and so hard to do that honestly, most of these pants you guys are gonna see, I wasn't able to like fully button them up properly. These just, there was like no stretch in them. You can see I couldn't like button them up. And I mean, I liked the way that they looked, I think, but ultimately because I'm 5'1", I just felt like it wasn't doing me any favors. Like it was supposed to be a boot, I don't know. I just off the bat wasn't like super impressed, especially for that price point. But I do feel like overall these ones, now that I'm watching all back, back all the footage, I do feel like these fit me better than a lot of them. This next one, I have to look up close, is the True Love Wide Leg Trouser. This is the one I was the most excited about. I couldn't find it in white. I saw these online in white, and that's what I wanted to try. Um, but I was definitely excited to at least try them in the denim, so if they worked, I could order them online in white, and I love the wide leg. This one had a zipper fly, um, but unfortunately, it just 
wasn't the fit for me. I found all of the denim of her denim to be really short in the crotch. And so I felt like I was like constantly having wedgies front and back, um, which was like a little bit disappointing. And I feel like even if I had sized up, um, it wouldn't have worked. Like it worked fine in my waist, but everywhere else, I don't know, just, just wasn't for me. Again, it was all one length, so that might, be working against me but these definitely were not it and i won't be ordering them in white look at my face i'm so sad about it i really like those were the ones i wanted to work and they just didn't they look a little bit better actually like in the camera than they did in real life but i'm telling you they were like hiked up she is not impressed all versions of her not impressed look i'm holding my crotch because it was like up in there okay this is the flirt straight boot Lit in the lived in vintage again all the price points seemed about the same um spoiler alert these ones worked the best on me and if i were to purchase anything even though they had the button fly it probably would have been this i did as you can see on one side i rolled it up just to get an idea of what that would look like um which i think i ultimately ended up liking better um but i do have a pair of madewell jeans in a very similar look that fit better. Um, yeah, I don't know y'all. My booty looked cute. Obviously I was digging on that, but these I would say for sure for a short gal are probably your best bet. Um, and for my body type, which is a little bit curvier. Um, yeah, I don't know. They were the best. Maybe if they were a zipper, I probably would have considered getting them, but the button fly was just too much. Okay, this is the throwback vintage. Uh, you know, your classic throwback vintage, which we're seeing a lot in every like denim company with that kind of raw hem. These were the absolute worst. Look at them. I don't understand. They like gave me like this weird like bell curve situation. The back, I thought, look, I'm gonna point it out. It looked like I like pee peed in my butt butt. Um, I don't know why I said it like that. I hate myself. Uh, I, the raw bottom was fine, but just like it was so big in the areas that I'm pointing to right now, like around sort of like the bladdery area. That's a gross way to say it, but it just was, but then it was tight everywhere else. I'm dancing just so you could really see how much like space there was in there. Okay. This is the tease high rise wide leg. Oh, I'm exhausted just watching me try on all these because it was like kind of a feat. I, yeah, I hated these ones. I, I think I hated these ones the most. <laughs> they were super tight on me for some reason. Again, all the same waist size, but then wide through the leg. I don't know. I know this like style is like in style and it's like an old style from when I was growing up, but I just don't like the look on me. Look at that though. I love that for me. Yeah, these were just uncomfortable. And at that point I was just exhausted and didn't want to do this anymore. You know that feeling? You know that feeling. Oh, but I thought this was cool. I was really trying to make out with myself in the mirror, but it uh, didn't go as planned. Just like trying on this denim did not go as planned. One last, these are the shorts. So those are the 49.50, which actually feels like a lot for these shorts. And holy cow, y'all. I got them a size up in a 25. Uh, they were so small and so short. I haven't tried on like booty shorts in a long time and I wasn't really expecting them to be that short. I mean, there's no way I would ever wear those out. Um, and even in the 25, they were really, really small. And for some reason in this brand, their button flies just suck. Like really, that bottom button is so shoved down in there, it's almost impossible to do it. And I have button flies. I have button flies from Free People and Madewell that I love very much, but yeah, not gonna, not gonna work. Also, last but not least, this was totally unrelated, but I saw this piece as I was going into the dressing room and I was like, this is so cute, looks so cute on the hanger. My mom was like, you just gotta try it on. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy. As one of the Van Von Trapp children. <laughs> no idea a female dear. Like I literally look like I'm in the sound of music, um, especially with my clothes on. So yeah, great. So there you go, not the most successful. I'm actually so thrilled that they carried it in store so I could try it on in store because had I ordered all those and put all that on my credit card and had it come to the house and none of it worked, I would have been so pissed. I do know she does like a 30 day guarantee, like you can return everything, um, no big deal, but just the process and hassle of doing that, I'm so happy to be able to go in store. Um, you know, 
I just feel like for the price point, a $79.50 is still kind of high for a denim. It's not like, you know, the high, high end, but I would much prefer to like spend that money at American Eagle. I feel like I've had way more luck there for denim or to spend a little bit more and go to Madewell um, or Free People where the jeans always fit really nicely, at least for me. You know, like every body type is different and every person has like a go-to brand or two that just fits them better. This was definitely not it. I don't think there was much, enough stretch in any of the denim for me. Obviously I didn't love the length options or rather lack thereof. And I don't know, I just wasn't into the proportions um, from the crotch to the waist. Um. Yeah, pretty disappointed. I will say watching it back, it all looks a little bit better on me because the angle of my camera, I mean, I'm not gonna bring like a tripod into the dressing room, but like if you saw it sort of like head on, I think you would probably agree with me on most of these. Listen, I mean, in theory, I could, could have purchased any of those and made them work, but if I'm gonna spend the money, I wanna get the right pair of denim that really fits me and does me good. So unfortunately, uh, there was no go for me on the denim line by Jessica Simpson, but that's not to say it wouldn't be great for you. Anyways, I'll leave the links below if you are interested and check it out. Um, I'll try to probably do it via Macy's because they do have sales like all the time. Today they were having an insane sale there. I wanted to do like a full shop, but uh, I contained myself and just kind of focused on this. But if there's anything else that you wanna see me try on, a brand um, that you're interested in, or just denim in general, I was thinking of doing white denim try-ons. Have I done that before in the past? Like trying to find the perfect white denim? That would be interesting. I don't know if that exists, if I'm being honest, but it's definitely worth a shot. Uh, let me know and stay tuned next week. We have a bunch of new videos coming. I think my old Navy package should be arriving soon too, so. <laughs> I love trying all this stuff on so you guys don't have to waste your money or time. So again, let me know what you wanna see next. Thanks so much for watching and I just think that you guys are lovely and great. Thanks for your support and I'll see you next time, bye.